What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the channel, Golf News. So in today's video, should you be playing a Pro V1 or some other tour ball? Guys, I think the answer is going to surprise a lot of you. For an absolute beginner, yeah, it's pretty obvious. You should not be playing a tour ball. They're expensive. They spin a lot. And you're going to lose your fair share of them, okay? But I want to tell you guys an interesting story, all right? As you guys saw in some of the shorts we filmed this week, my dad was in town. I just had a nice little vacation. Uh, my dad and his girlfriend came to town and I uh, got to spend some time with Pops. It was awesome. Um, dad's birthday was also the end of August. So, um, a lot of times on his birthday, I'll get him some golf balls or something. So I was getting ready to go online, order him some golf balls. And then I, I saw a text message from him. He, he'd shot a good score on the golf course. So I decided to call him up, chat about his round a little bit. And what he told me knocked my socks off. Guys, golf noob senior will be the first to tell you he doesn't like change. <laughs> Okay, he is set in his ways, all right, for sure. And that's not always a bad thing, but in golf, it can be. Case in point, my dad loves a soft-feeling golf ball, and I don't blame him. I absolutely love a soft golf ball, too. Um, that being said, he's been playing the Titleist True Feel or the Callaway Super Sauce, going kind of back and forth between the two uh, over probably the last three or four years. And the other day, he was playing a tough course, he's got some water, and he'd lost all his title as true field. So he reaches in his bag, he's squirming around in there trying to find something to play with, and out pops this Pro V1 that he found on the golf course. And he's like, ah, oh, forget it, I'll just use this until I lose it. Well, he played the next four holes with that ball and was astounded. Absolutely astounded. He was like, dang! He got more distance, a soft feel and better spin and control and feel around the greens. He loved the way the ball came off the club face and he started falling head over heels in love with this Pro V1. There's only one problem. Dad's a 24 handicap. Okay. And that ball vanished. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he hit it in the woods or he hit it in the water. Knowing dad, dear old dad, he probably hit it in the water. All right. But he hit that ball in the water after playing with it for four holes and was just devastated because it was the only one he had. And so we were chatting a little bit. And he's like, that's crazy, right? I, I read all this stuff online. Slow swing uh, seniors and people with slow swing speeds need to play these soft feeling golf balls. And I was like, man, I think I just did a video on that talking about how that's a myth. I really hate that stereotype that's out there that people who have slower swings need to fit themselves to a different golf ball, okay? But I'm not going to get into the whole fitting side again, okay? What I am going to tell you is a lot of you don't think a Pro V1 or some other tour ball is right for you because you're not a very good golfer. Well, case in point, my dad is a 24-25 handicap, okay? So he's not terrible, but he's not great either. He's probably pretty average, okay? A lot of golfers are falling in that 22 to 28 handicap range, okay? And a lot of you in that range are just discounting the idea completely that you should be playing a tour ball. And my dad is living proof that that's not the case. You've got to think about it and see if a tour ball might be right for you. So my dad is a very low spin player, okay? He doesn't really use scoring wedges when he's in around in and around the greens. Dad's favorite weapon of choice is a nine iron, okay? A nine iron puts very little spin on the ball, making distance control, in my opinion, rather difficult. Now, granted, some of you guys who prefer that low bump and run style have got that down to a T. But for a lot of other players, myself included, I had trouble controlling my distances because I couldn't put any spin on the ball. When I went to a urethane golf ball, that made a little bit of a difference for me. Not a huge one in my particular game, but it made a little bit of difference when I was playing like a nine iron or a pitching wedge and just letting it roll out. Well, guys, I got to tell you, I wanted to make this video because after watching my dad's performance with a tour level golf ball, I was blown away. So 
dad and I chatted and obviously he's living on a fixed income. He's happily retired. He doesn't want to be spending 50, $60 a box for brand new pro V ones. Okay. And for all my high handicaps out there, okay. Or even my lower handicaps, if you somehow score really well, but still lose five or six balls around a pro V one or another expensive tour ball, probably not your best bet. So what is a guy or gal to do? All right. Well, like I said, it was dad's birthday. So I jumped online. I told dad, I said, Hey, fear not. I got a ball that's really similar to the Tylos Pro V1 based on the engineering of it. Some of the reviews I've read of it and some of the reviews I've seen on YouTube. I think this might be a very good substitute for that Pro V1 and get this. It only costs $5 a box more than your title is true feel. And dad was like, get out of here. Really? I was like, yes, really? So for dad's birthday, I ordered him a box of Legato golf balls. They're a direct to consumer brand. You can find them on Amazon and often you can find them on sale, but they regularly retail for $29.99 a dozen. And while I know a lot of you are thinking, Ooh, that's kind of steep for me. Hear me out. Okay. The Titleist true feel and the Callaway super soft that my dad have been playing are 19.99 or I'm sorry, 24 99 a dozen brand new. I remember when you could get them for $19 a dozen brand new. Now they're $25 a dozen brand new. My question to you viewers, golf noobs, why would you pay $25 for an entry level golf ball when you can spend $5 more a box and get something like the Legato, a three piece urethane covered golf ball with a nice 85 compression core. Okay. 85. I know a lot of you are in panic mode. You're like, Oh, that's firm. Yes. Compared to a Titleist true feel that's firm compared to a Callaway super soft. Yes, that's firm compared to a top flight. That's buttery soft. Okay. And these 85 compression tour balls, these 85 compression premium balls. Okay. Actually feel surprisingly soft coming off just about every club in the back. Uh, you guys may have seen it. I had a collaboration with Gabe from let's play through recently. The legato is a ball of choice for him. My only experience with the golf ball other than watching the reviews and reading up on it over the last few months was when we did the collaboration. I used one of the legatos to just knock in a little tap in putt we needed for our par. Okay. Tapped it in and boy, that thing felt buttery soft coming off my putter. I was in love. I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to try some of these. And guys, that's on the list. So stay tuned. Eventually I'm going to get around to doing a review of that legato golf ball for y'all. Um, hopefully in the fairly near future. Um, but guys, I saw such a huge difference in dad's game. He gained about one club worth of distance. So 10, 12 yards maybe. And, and that's kind of on the high side. Generally speaking, you're only going to see, you know, maybe three or four yards of difference in golf balls. But my dad went to this firmer golf ball and actually saw distance gains. Okay. They're marginal. And once he gets back home to his home course and his home conditions, I'm curious to check in with him and see how that translates back home if he's still getting those better distances. But what I saw that I've never seen before is check spin off a nine iron, check spin off a seven iron. And let me tell you, watching my dad play some of these shots this last week was absolutely exciting. It was nice to see him hit a ball generally in his landing spot and the ball only roll out to six or eight feet away from its pitch mark. Normally dad's getting pretty good at hitting his spots, especially with his shorter irons. He can hit it to where he wants to, but then the ball rolls 25 feet out of its pitch mark and he three pots. Not a good recipe. Okay. He got it closer to the hole and he played pretty darn well this week. Florida golf is a different animal and it's a very tough animal compared to the golf he's used to playing back home in Texas. Okay. So to see him excel and, and see this ball pay dividends was really encouraging. There were a couple of shots he missed hit where he got enough spin that the ball stayed on the green. Had he been playing the title as true field at the Callaway super soft. I firmly believe both of those balls would have been goners. They'd have rolled right through the back of the green and he didn't need at least one more stroke because he'd added chip it back on the green so that he could putt. Um, saw that two or three times. And then um, with that nine iron, you know, those bumping runs around the green, he was getting the ball to check basically two hops and a stop with a nine iron. That was pretty impressive to see. Normally it's three hops and it rolls out 10, 15 feet. 
So to see two hops and stop off a of nine iron around the greens for my dad, pretty freaking cool to watch, guys. Not going to lie. He loved the feel. He loved the performance. He started brimming with confidence, and he really did play pretty well this week. And he was like, dang, they're only $5 a box more than what I'm normally, normally playing. Guys, that's huge. So for $5 a box more, you can go some from an entry-level golf ball from one of the big names, Callaway, Titleist, um, Srixon, okay? For $5 a box more, you can go into something like the Legato that's going to have a more premium feel, a three-piece urethane golf ball that's going to give you spin and performance in and around the greens. And guys, if you're a high handicap, guess what? Believe it or not, you need that spin because most of you don't have the swing speed on your wedges to generate a lot of backspin, okay? So if you're having trouble in the short game and you're a higher handicap and you can swing that $30 a dozen or sometimes even less, you can buy a lot of these big name golf balls, the premium top of the top tier, you know, the Pro V1, the Strixon Z-Star. Um, there's a lot of ways to go about saving money on those particular golf balls. You can buy them used from lostgolfballs.com. You find a direct to consumer brand like Legato, or maybe something from Vice Golf. Vice Golf's prices have kind of eked up a little bit over the, the last little while. So they're maybe not quite as good a bargain. But the point is you have options out there. And guys, I tell anybody, if you're struggling with the short game, even if you're a high handicap, one way to drop your scores and maybe improve your game might actually be to switch into a better golf ball. And if you can do it for $5 a box more than the entry level golf balls, why wouldn't you? All right? So guys, check it out. Do me a favor, don't sell yourself short just because you're fairly new to golf, just because you're a high handicapper, doesn't mean that a tour ball like the Pro V1 or the Callaway Chrome Soft or whatever they're calling the TaylorMade this week or the Legato Golf Ball might be for you. So guys, I encourage you to check it out, especially if you could afford um, $30 a dozen, somewhere in that range, a couple different times. I've seen the Legato Golf Ball on Amazon. It was $19.99 for the Prime Day deals. Um, when I bought the box for dad, I bought him a box of yellow for 30, uh, but the white ones were on sale for $26.99, which is only two bucks more than those entry level options from Titleist and Callaway I mentioned. Okay. So guys, if you're losing six or eight golf balls around, you're probably not quite to that level yet. But if you're getting down to the point where maybe you only lose a sleeve around, maybe occasionally you lose four around, might be time to check out moving to a better golf ball, something a little more premium something with a nice mid compression and something with that urethane cover. Okay. Urethane cover matters, guys. Prove it. Go get you some, prove it to yourself. All right. And then you can say you heard it here first. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for the love, the support, the comments, uh, all the love uh, for golf noob senior while he was here. Some of the shorts we filmed. That was really great. Appreciate everybody's feedback. Again, welcome to our 200 new subscribers we've picked up here in just the last little while. Hope you guys enjoy the channel, enjoy the content. Here at Golf Noob, we're trying to help you have more fun, play a little better, and more importantly, save some serious money on golf. Till next time, Golf Noob out.